Yes, guys, what's happening? 10 minute abs and core. You know the routine. Well, not this routine, but you know how it works. Six exercises. This is kind of the plan how I'm doing all the, the ab stuff on body camp. So six exercises, two sets of each. Yeah, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. At the end of it, we get 20 seconds for me to do a quick demo of the next exercise. And we try to make it as continuous as we can to keep you moving, all right? So I want you to take your time, try to focus on using your abs, use your core, don't swing your arms and your legs around. I'll do my best to keep the good form and you just basically copy, all right? Let's see how we get on. The first exercise is a half sit. So sitting there like that, you're just gonna sit your hands just to the top of your knees into there, all right? So we're starting in 10 seconds, time is ready. Sit yourself back. Ready? Two, one, and go. And begin from there. So you're just reaching up so that your wrist just comes to the top of your knee. And just get as many reps as you can. So as I said at the beginning, we're trying not to throw your arms around, trying to get yourself up with any momentum. You're trying to reach and use your abs. So slide your hands up your legs until you get just to the top of the knees. Time. Simple. Hold tight. 15 seconds. We go again. 10 seconds. So slowly lower yourself. We can probably get a few more reps than that. So let's go for it. Ready? Go. So I'm just going to speed up a little bit on the way up, but then slowly on the release. So up to there. Good. But again, not using my arms to get myself up. You're really trying to target your upper abs on this one. Yep. We got about five seconds. And time. Next one is the three point knee. So we go on the floor, mountain climber position. Knee comes forward to the elbow cross to the other elbow, back, back, and then we swap legs, all right? Okay, and go. So elbow, 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 back, same thing. One, two, three, and back, there, good. That's the idea, halfway. So you bring it forward, rotate, now you want to keep your body weight forwards so you can actually get your knee to your elbow. If you're reaching away, you're never going to get there. You need to stay forwards there like that. See what I mean? So if you're, stop there by the way, if your hands are too far forwards, you've got no chance of getting your elbows there. So you need to put your hands down and shift your upper body weight over those arms. Yeah, on top of the hands. Ready? And go. So over the top. Now my knee can easily get forwards or close to the elbows. So it goes there, rotate, back and back. Now I always feel this one. That's the halfway point. There, always feel it. Ugh. Don't know why. You know some exercises just get you more than others. This is one for me. Ugh. Time, right from there. We're going to go into a twist, but how we're going to do this one today is you're going to sit on the floor. You're going to raise your feet in the air. If you can't raise your feet in the air, don't stress. Keep your feet on the floor. Grab your fist, lean back a little, and you're going to try and twist and tap your elbow on the floor either side. Ready? Okay. So feet on the floor looks like that. There. Let's go. So we rotate, tap the elbow. Doesn't have to be quick. Good. And if you can do it with your feet off the floor, obviously do that. But even feet down, to be fair, I've just done my whole set with my feet on the floor. Oh, did you hear my belly then? I'm wearing a mic today, so you probably would have picked that one up. <laughs> my belly was going, bruv, what are you playing at? Right, five seconds and we go again. So I'm going to raise my feet off the floor this time. Okay, let's go. So tap the elbow, reach, 
<laughs> I bet the mic picked that up. <laughs> there, and just take your time, really twist. This is exercise three of six. <laughs> it's hard to speak while you do this, you know. <laughs> Good. Oh, time. Tough one. Next one gets a little bit tough now. So V hold flushes. So we're going to sit into this position. There's a couple of ways you can do it. So kind of the beginner's intermediate version will be here. Arms forwards. Leg is going to go like that. If you want to go more advanced, you're going to go arms above your head. So there, let's go forwards. Now you want to, you want to move your whole leg, not just kick your feet like this. Yeah, your knees must be splitting. Yeah, so you're going to feel it in your hip flexors. If you need a little breather, put your feet down, rest it for a second, then go again. Can you get your arms above your head for this one? Yep, I know it's hard. If you're really struggling, you can put your hands on the floor. Give yourself a little bit of support. And time. So, 15 second rest. Now, you will feel that in the hip flexors. That's fine. We need to get strong in the hip flexors as well. Right. One more round of this one. I knew this one was going to be tough. Ready? Okay. So choose your version. Again, doesn't have to be quick. In fact, can you slow it right down? Oh my God, that is hard. <laughs> oh, I need a little breather. Yeah, that's hard up there. That is hard. When you really slow it down. time oh my god right from there you're gonna go onto your side into a side plank and we're gonna do hip dips now you must, you must know how these work by now so onto your side now you can do this on your knees and you're just gonna kind of pulse your hips but if you can do them on your feet obviously would prefer that but work towards it let's go so hands on your hip elbow wants to be directly below your shoulder to get that support and then dip down towards the floor with your hip, and then push it back up towards the ceiling. Now, if you're a little more advanced, you could put a weight on there if you want to. Don't have to. Feeling that. You're gonna feel it underneath. Time. Rest, we can do the other side. Set two of exercise five. Then we've got one more to go. Right, ready? Other side, get in position and go. So just dip in the hips, trying not to lay on the floor and try to make the movement as big as possible. So reach the hip down and then right the way up and squeeze those sides, get into the obliques, Ooh, all the side of your abs. Time. Last one. Supported V sit. So you're going to sit yourself back, hands on the floor, and a little bit like we did with the, the old flutter kicks, but you're going to go two feet at the same time. So from here, we're going to go up and down. Ready? Go. So hands on the floor, legs up, down, and just take your time. Breathing in on the way down. Now, if you're struggling with this one, you can bend your knees a little. So you can make it a smaller movement with your knees bent. But as you get more advanced, start to extend the legs, point the toes, and get a little higher. So how high can you get? Just leaning back. Your hands, if you can see, oh, will be just kind of just behind where your bum is on the floor. One more round. We've got 10 seconds, and we're going to do this. Right, three, two, one, and go. So I'm gonna be really strict now for this last set. So I'm gonna really focus on my posture throughout, the position of my legs, where the effort is coming from, 
where the squeeze is at the top, the tempo of the movement. Now that's getting really hard. Any time. Oh. Don't forget to stretch so you can lay on your front. You know the drill. Nice. Good. Hold that for 10 seconds, 20 seconds if you wish. And then obviously sit back. And yeah. Oh, abs. Another abs in the bag. If you're hardcore, you could pick another routine and do that. Or you could do this one all over again and try the advanced versions of each exercise. <laughs> all right, guys. Nice one. Ah. Oh. Layers.